Solon is one of the leading providers of high-quality solar system solutions. Worldwide, we produce up to 6,000 solar modules per day in our ultra-modern production facilities. Almost everyone has seen solar modules on a house or building rooftop. But how exactly is a solar module constructed? The main components of the modules are wafer-thin solar cells. These cells are examined for damage by an automatic camera before processing. The computer program detects faulty cells and rejects them. All cells that have passed Solon's rigorous testing are joined to form a series, which is known as a string. The finished Solon module is later protected against dust and the elements such as hail by a special glass plate. Each glass plate is individually washed and covered with an encapsulating film. These are the workstations where the module is assembled. Each individual string is brought into the correct position. The strings are aligned and electrically connected. All conductive points must be well soldered so that electrical current can flow through them later. A plastic rear film is prepared on another machine. This forms the rear wall of the module. Here the film is being cut to size and punched out at the contact point. Another encapsulating film is placed over the strings and then followed by the rear film. At the end of this work step, each Solon module will be given its own reference number. This employee is carefully checking whether all module cells have been correctly interconnected and whether everything is working smoothly. The contact surfaces are covered in tape before the next work step. The module is then placed into a laminating oven. This is where the plastic films are fused with the other components. The module cells are now completely encapsulated and safely protected against rain, hail, ice and snow. We still need to attach the aluminum frame. The individual parts are pre-assembled here. The first robot takes the aluminum frame profiles from the storage shelf. The second robot places the unframed module onto the framing table. Sealing tapes are pasted all around the edges of the module here. Once the module is in the right place, the frame is assembled. The third robot fixes the solar module frame using a crimping process. This ensures that the frame profiles remain permanently attached to each other. A junction box is mounted on the back of the module and then glued on. Again, the conductive parts must be soldered, this time to the module. To complete the module, a performance test is conducted in a sun simulator known as the flasher. Inside the dark space of the flasher, a carefully calculated amount of light is generated. This is to test how much power is generated by each Solon module. The production process is now complete and the module is ready for use in a solar power plant either on a rooftop or in any open space. This is how thin and fragile the individual solar cells are. The module as a whole provides the cells with the necessary stability. Stability, performance and much more are checked in our modern test laboratories. This is how the load would appear when, for example, snow accumulates on the module. Further tests are conducted to simulate the loads and stresses placed on the modules during transport. 
For example, what would happen if a truck drove over potholes? A high quality module must not develop a fault. Once the solar module has passed all the strict quality checks, it can be delivered to the customer. It now has all the technological characteristics to generate clean energy for many decades and to ensure a long-term return on investment. This is good for the owner of the Solon module as well as for the environment.